Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how simple it is to take the game Casual Crashers and play it locally with like three, one, two, three, or four PC controllers, PS2 controllers, or whatever you want to use. And yes, my method today will show you how you can use a keyboard and also have another controller and not have the controller and the keyboard control the same character. I'll show you how that works. So, if you go into your browser and go to Google, type in Xbox 360 CE or X360 CE, or go to the more info section and copy this link here, just go to this website and download the latest version. You click on downloads here. The latest download is the September 23rd, so download that is going to be a zip file. Now, what I always tell people to do is take your zip file and go to your Casual Crashers game, okay? And then all you got to do is literally left click and drag the x360ce.executable. Some people said you don't have to do that. You could do that from your desktop and then just copy over to INI and the DLL files it makes. But I just find it a little bit easier just to keep it very game specific. So let's go ahead and run it. Run. And I actually have three controllers connected to my computer right now. I have this um, adapter that allows two PS2 or PS1 controllers connected to the PC. And then I also have a Airflow um, PC USB controller. So basically it's detecting the, the, the devices here. So I'm going to go ahead and let it finish do its thing. So that's the first controller. Now it's going to go ahead and work on the second controller. This is I'm using the twin USB joystick, which is an adapter that allows you to connect two PS2 or two PS1 controllers. And then it's going to go ahead and detect my last controller, which is my Airflow. I would have another controller, but I don't have it physically with me. So today's video is going to show three controllers and then my keyboard. OK. So how do we know it's working, right? So let's go ahead and go to my first controller. We see that all the buttons work. And if I turn on analog, yeah, we got the analog action. Triggers are working fine. Great. Let's go to controller two. This is my other PS2 controller. Turn on analog. Yeah. See the buttons. Everything's working. Great. And then let's go to controller three. And then here we see that, yeah, everything's working. All the buttons are working. Sweet. Awesome. Don't have to remap anything. And then what I always like to do is click on save. It doesn't hurt. And then exit. So now with that said, let's go ahead and start. Oh, before we start the real game, here's the trick. Go into this x360ce.ini, and here where it says these mappings, I don't want the keyboard and my controller one to control the same character. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift this down. So call this two, three, four, call this one. So what I'm effectively doing is I'm shifting all the controller mappings one um, pad up. So what used to be controller one is now controller two. What is controller two is controller three and so on and so forth. So basically I'm allowing the keyboard to behave as controller one. Okay, now with that said, let's go, let's jump straight into the gameplay footage tutorial. All right, so here we are at the main menu of Castle Crashers. So let's go ahead, let's go to local game, press enter on the keyboard and let's do Castle Crashers. And you'll see on the video, they got three controllers. They got a PS2, PS1, and it also is Airflow. So what I'm gonna do is when once we're here at the main screen, we see that the keyboard is controlling this, right? So I press X on one controller, press X on another one, press X on the next one. So now let's go ahead and select the character, pink, that's fine, blue, and then let's pick, I don't know, this purple guy, and this one could be orange, and press enter on the keyboard. Da, 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 da. And momentarily we're gonna be all four Castle Crasher guys and girls inside the lobby here. Uh oh. It's time for some revenge, guys. Let's do this. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Yeah. So here is my orange guy. See? I'm using the keyboard. See? Now let's take the next player. See, this is the pink player. He's running, jumping, fighting. Right? So let's go over here. Let's go ahead to uh, the white one. Or, sorry, the blue one. See? Moving around. Yep, yep, yep. Now let's take out this barrel. And then let's go to the last one. The airflow. Yeah, see the purple guy? Yep, he's moving around. He's gonna hit on this nurse here. So that's the tutorial in a nutshell. If you like this type of video, please like, favorite, and subscribe. Hopefully one day we can get to the front page of YouTube. Otherwise, if you got any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.